All right, this is Aaron Peterson with My Mini Casa. I just wanted to give you a quick look around a uh, fairly nice cargo-worthy 40-foot uh, standard. Now, cargo-worthy cargo -worthy boxes, uh, they have rust, dense stings, oftentimes patches, and those types of things. The only difference, the only difference between cargo-worthy and wind water tight is the worthiness to go over the ocean and so this is a cargo worthy container and that has rusting pretty good rusting but still cargo worthy um, has the ability to hold cargo and go up and over the ocean and so there's some dents and dings and scratching a uh, fair bit of amount of both here and so i wanted to show you that here's the other one in blue so that's an orange one here's a blue one this is a 42g standard cargo worthy container so 40 feet long 42g is the class in coats and i'm going to go ahead and take a look inside to show you what a typical inside would be and so here's the flooring dents and dings scraping uh, in the walls so when your customers inspect them at site as well as the drivers when they go to pick them up i recommend that you get inside the container and you shut the door and when you shut the door you want to walk back inside and you want to look so as close as you can get it you want to shut that door as close as you can get it you want to look for pinholes coming through of light and so we're going to go ahead and walk all the way back here where it's super super dark and you know look up here so i'm in the back of the container and I'm looking for a light, a little bit of light that comes in from the door. I'm looking for light coming in from the tops, around the sills, all through the container here. And I do see some light that's still reflecting off of there, but I don't see any pinholes or lighting. So this is recommended when all customers get their containers, they inspect them. So here's a spot where there's some leak, leak, leasing. And it looks like there may be some water right here, so we would have the bad guys come over and actually check that out. So, just want to show you that a little bit of what's uh, is typical for a cargo worthy container. Now, cargo worthy, this is cargo worthy. There's a little pinhole for water, and what we'll do is we'll actually take this water, we'll seal this back up, and then when we seal that back up, we'll actually go out and do. Let's see right here, is that some more water? No, nope, that's actually uh, something that looks like it might have been resealed. So we'll actually seal that up and then we'll do what's called a J1 on this container and make it cargo worthy again. We'll actually get a, a certificate on it and make it cargo worthy versus wind water tight. When you see patching, all the time you'll see this patching. And so this is a fairly good looking box, but there's that little leak that's coming in right there that needs to be repaired. So fairly good box, but they get patches all the time. They put patches on them and they call them cargo worthy again. So, here's the inside of this orange one, all right? Inside of the orange one, I've got some good dents and things and scrapes all the way along. The door behind me is pretty heavy, so it's gonna come down, and there's a lot of good stuff like this. This is still considered a cardboard box. So, I'm gonna go ahead and close that door best we can. I'm gonna walk back to the back of the container where it's super duper dark, and then I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna look for hole pictures. Now, these are standard vent holes. Um, everybody knows that on the container. If you don't, now you do. So I'm gonna, I'm looking up the walls and down the walls. I'm looking for water, for leakage, for anything that has to do with a hole or whatnot that might be peeking in. And seeing what there is in there. I'm gonna walk back up. So the floors are fairly worn. There's some good dents in there. That's a fairly good dent right there. Still considered a cargo worthy box, however. So wanted to look through here. Now, colors, very important. We've talked about some colors before. The green boxes that uh, come in, we actually have a gray one and a green one in a 20 foot right now. That's actually those boxes. There's, that's a seafoam green one. Behind it, there's a green one and there's a gray one. That gray box right there, four in 1,000. The green box in the back right there, that's a capital box. Uh, that green box back there, six in 1,000. So very rare to get colors in so it's very hard to pick colors on boxes so anyways just want to give you guys a quick run view of what a, a cargo worthy container is um, i don't think we have any wind water tights here 
They all look to be uh, cargo worthy. Well, I guess the blue one technically right now it just needs to get sealed up. As soon as there's that leak in it and it's sealed, we, it's, it goes to wind water tight status and we have to redo it again. So just wanted to give everybody a quick overview of what the boxes look like and uh, whatnot. So 